This bakery in Padua is currently making the best Easter bread in Italy. But they also make many other sweet delicacies here. Very good. They taste very good with cream or chocolate. The bakers are obviously all masters of their trade, but they all have a past you can't see at first glance. I killed someone. I'm in here for murder. The bakery is located in a high-security prison in Padua in the northern Italian region of Veneto. It's home to around 600 serious criminals who have been sentenced to years of imprisonment. 200 of them have a permanent job here. At the entrance we meet Matteo Macchetto, the boss of the company Pasticceria Giotto. He accompanies us to the bakery. On our way there, we first have to pass through four security locks. Where is the bakery located and why we have to pass so many gates? The bakery is inside the prison walls. From their cells, the inmates access the workplace through a corridor. So it's as safe as in the prison itself. In addition to the prison inmates, there are also about 250 judicial officers in this building who we are not allowed to film for security reasons. We continue to make our way through the security gates. Here we come to the last checkpoint before the bakery, and this is now the last corridor that leads us to the facility's working area. And how is it for you to work in a prison? It's a great experience. It's discover that uh, and hope for everybody. Mm -hmm. Anche, even if you have done something very, very bad. After about 30 minutes, our team finally reaches the bakery. Since 2005, 50 serious criminals have been working here. They all completed a baker's apprenticeship in prison and now bake cakes for the Pope, among others. One of them is Giacchino. In 2010, he was sentenced to 30 years in prison. I killed somebody. I've learned a lot since, but it's too late now. It takes a second, maybe two seconds, and you don't even know how it happened. But here in prison, you have a lot of time to think about it. Because Giacchino shows remorse, he is allowed to work in the bakery. In 1989, the now 54-year-old owned a small pizzeria in Berlin. He had to give up the business, go back to Italy and ended up on the wrong side of the tracks. The result was a long, hard prison sentence. In prison, the cell was locked most of the time. We were only allowed outside for two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. And there wasn't a lot of space there either. One of his colleagues is Massimo. He also had his own pizzeria in Germany for 12 years before he turned criminal in Italy. In 2011, he ends up in prison and has to share a nine square meter cell with three other prisoners. It was bad, upstairs every day, in the room, watching TV or playing cards, not a normal day. When you're at work, the day goes by, it's totally different. He has been working in the bakery for five years now. He has to serve another three and a half years. Why he ended up in prison is something he obviously doesn't like to talk about. I can't really say what I did. I didn't kill anybody, but something really bad in Italy. The inmates work half a day and a regular 20-hour week. They also get a salary of 500 to 600 euros a month. And they also pay into the pension fund. I have to get up at 5 a.m. every day, half an hour before work. Have a coffee, cigarette, make the bed. Half past six, I have to be downstairs until 12 or one o'clock, depending on how much there is to do. Sometimes two or three o'clock. The fact that prisoners in Italy are engaged in paid employment is a total exception. Of about 56,000 prisoners, only about 1,500 work. 
whereas Germany's 51,000 prisoners are actually obliged to work. In Italy, prison jobs like working in a bakery are a privilege and highly sought after by the prisoners because they bring some variety to everyday prison life. Before I worked, I was depressed, like everyone else. We're all like that. It's a different life here. Everyone outside thinks it's hard. It's a completely different life. But with work, there's always something to do, always something new. You have more desire to live. Giacchino has found his will to live again. Matteo Concolato also experiences this positive energy every day. He is one of seven external master bakers and managers who look after and train the prisoners. Anyone who comes here really wants to work. The inmates really want to. They're all very good workers. And you can feel that in the way everyone treats each other. Matteo's only problem, whenever criminals are released or transferred, he often has to train new bakers. And that is not always easy. The biggest problem is to keep everyone together, because many people are not used to work. First, I have to teach them to listen and then to work. That's the biggest challenge. This way, prisoners are prepared for life after prison. But even if the bakery is a friendly place, strict supervision remains essential. There are various types of knives here, because we need knives for this work. So far, nothing has happened yet. I just always check that all the knives are still there. Here's a list, and three or four times a day, I check if the knives are still there. We want to find out how popular the bakery's pastries are outside the prison. At the beginning of the 19th century, the prisoners were housed here, at Cararesa Castle in the centre of Padua. Since the new prison opened in 1981, there are now just a few offices for the prison administration located here. Only a few metres away, we find one of the prison bakery's two shops. So, how good are these cakes made in prison? Tastes very good, delicious. I didn't know these products were made in prison, but I'm very happy to support this project. I think it's a great idea. Even if people have done something wrong, it is important that you help them and that they can become part of this organization. It's the first I've heard about this project and I think it deserves recognition. A really good project. The special thing about the cakes is that they are handmade. The Easter loaves, the so-called Colomba, are the top seller. Up to 10,000 were produced this year, and those allowed to work here have to go through a long vetting process. There's an official office with two psychologists. Once the prison warden decides to approve the prisoner, an interview is conducted, and if all goes well then, they're allowed to do an internship. And after that, they can start working. Domenico also went through this process. He has already been in prison for seven years and he has another nine years ahead of him. He doesn't want to reveal why he's serving time. For me, everything has changed for the better since I've been here, especially mentally. I now have a real life again and contact with people who come in from outside. I don't always think about the same things all the time. Your whole life changes when you're allowed to work here. I can also send money to my family. That's one of the secrets of the project's success. The work doesn't just give the prisoners a purpose, but also some recognition at home. A nice story to understand how important the work is for the people here is that one of our employees told me that his son hung his father's first paycheck next to a Cristiano Ronaldo poster in his room because he was so proud of his dad. This satisfaction is also reflected in the re-offending rate. Only 10% of the prisoners re-offend after release. The average in Italy is 70%. The finished pastries are now packed and prepared for delivery by Maurizio. He has already been in prison for 23 years, but thanks to the job, he has plans for the future.
I'm in here because I killed someone. But in six years, I'll finally get out and I already have a dream. I want to go back to my old profession and work as a stonemason. Delivering the cakes is much more complicated than in a normal bakery. Two or three vans have to pass strict security checks every day so that none of the prisoners can sneak out. This takes up to one hour. In the meantime, Matteo shows us the bakery's most prominent customer. The Pope has found out that these products are produced here in prison. And so he decided that he'd like to order panettone for the Vatican. We are very proud and enthusiastic and can see that our work is achieving something very beautiful and very good. Serious criminals making something beautiful? It actually works. The prisoners have even prepared a little surprise for our editor, Anja. Anja! This is a present from me, a heart. Thank you. Just so that you don't think we're only criminals. Under the surface, all the inmates are just people like everyone else. Baked with love by tough guys. And incidentally, you can also order these prison cakes on the internet and have them delivered to Germany.